Five weeks ago, Pimax Vision AKX had finally arrived in my place. After such a long wait, now I am using AKX for more than once. Let me tell you how good or bad the Pimax AK is. Let's get started. The unique feature of Pimax AK is to definitely the field of view. It has the largest FOB among the all the customer level HMD. It has 200 degree crazy large FOB. The FOB, however, it doesn't give me any uh, strong impression because I already used the vanilla AK version uh, before it. It has the uh, exact same FOB with AKX. If you come from the another HMD like Oculus or Index, it may give you a strong impression for sure. You don't feel like you're a binoculars anymore. Now it feels like you are wearing a helmet with a big visor in normal field of view. It makes you even feel like you're wearing a hoodie with a mask in larger FOB. It gives you deeper immersion level than narrow FOB HMDs. And also, if you are a fan of a racing sim or a flight sim, the advantage from it is much obvious. The sense of speed uh, from the other HMD brands cannot be matched with the Pimax. It's just fantastic. In my opinion, it is almost no different than real-life driving by Visual. With the AKX, thanks to much higher resolution, the sense of speed is much improved than AK. The biggest difference from the Pimax AKX than Vanilla AK is the resolution. Pimax AKX uses better panels which minimize screen door effect by RGB stripe. And also it uses native 4K uh, resolution for each eye. So the image is much crisp. In VR, the technical spec is much different than what you feel in VR because it has many variables that affect the final visual quality. So normally I tell people how much the resolution improved by the my feeling. When I talked about it, I can say it was more like hi-fi audio analysis. Pimax AK has 4K pixels of panels, but it is 2.5K upscaling for each eye. Therefore, the image is not that much sharp. It's about 1.5 better than HTC Original Vive for clarity. Pimax AKX is 2.5 times better than Vanilla AK. It's more crystal clear than AK. Image clarity means higher immersion. It makes you feel much in there. Pimax Vision AKX supports 75 frames per second, which means 15 frames less than 90Hz HMD. Personally, it's no problem for simulator genre like racing and flight sim. However, playing shooters, it may need a bit more frame. I hope they make uh, options for the higher frame rate with a smaller FOV. It's possible because Pimax 5K Plus supports a higher refresh rate with a smaller FOV. But small frame rate is not a big problem. Actually, the real problem of the AKX is afterimage. You'd see the afterimage while moving your head fast. After studying the issue, it was not the hardware problem. You should know it's still not fixed yet in current firmware. I hope they solve it out soon. But you should know it before buy one. The comfort of HMD has been improved a lot. Every person's favors and head shapes are different, so it may not be good for you, but in my case, it gives the most comfortable experience among the whole HMD I own so far.
the weight of AKX is higher than AK because of the modular audio strap and rubber coated housing, but the weight balance and the cushion is much better. In my opinion, the build quality is very high. It doesn't look cheap anymore. I ordered the deluxe audio strap but it's not complete yet, so I'm using the standard version for now. Yes, Pimax, they keep making the, the deluxe version. I hope they complete it soon. I'll talk about it DMAS after I get the unit in the following video. For SMAS, if it compare with the Vive audio strap, the sound quality is much worse. However, it's not terrible. The sound quality is barely matched with my minimal standards. It doesn't really bother me, but it's hard to say it's great. It needs to be improved little by little in the older ranges. But it's not to cover your ear or over your ears. Your ears are completely free from the units. It's a completely open version headphone so you can feel ultimate freedom. That is only advantage of the sound system. Except for the image after image program, high to performs very well. In my perspective, it's not valid now that the Pimax gets a lot of specs. The optimization is much better than 5 for now. Most games run with the much higher FPS with the higher resolution. I think main problem of Pimax HMD is unfriendly setting for beginners. There are a lot of options you need to set up in order to run the specific games nicely. However, that is not only cons but it could be pros too. That means you have more options for the controlling the HMD. You can set your favorite FOB and fixed forbid rendering strengths. Fixed forbid rendering is a great option for the boosting performance. It makes the render edge of the screen with a low resolution and get more frames. Also, you can set the parallel projection uh, turn on and turn off, which allows huge boost performance for some games. And also, there is a Python version of Asynchronous Space War from Oculus, which named Smart Smalling. It let the HMD render half of each frame and it doubles the frame. The edit frame is predicted by the rent referring to the frames before and after the frame. The quality of Smart Smalling from Python is very nice. It's good depending on the engine that the game uses and its genre. Assetto Cruiser Competizione is the best example of the good adaptation of the Smart Smoothing. In general, the Smart Smoothing is better than Steam VR Motion Smoothing. It has less distortion and it works much smoother. This is why I recommend Boy Pimax over H HP Reverb for simulation games. Personally, I prefer turn off any kind of framework for shooters. It's much unnatural for fast body and heading mo head moving games. Pimax team is making Pimax experience, which beginners can do right starting automatically. It will be more accessible. Let's wait to see it will be better or not. I look forward to it. The biggest critical elements of original Pimax AK and 5K Plus known from people is the distortion on the edge of the screen. It's not bother me. Yes, in Raj FOV, the distortion is very obvious. The Raj FOV is too demanding. So, I don't use Raj FOV much. In normal FOV, the distortion is barely seen. And it doesn't bother me at all. Why giving me such good field of view? For AKX, the distortion resolved a lot more than previous models, but it's still far from perfect. However, it's much more minimal than before, which is very good. Let me summarize the pro and the cons of this HMD. First pro is great FOV. 
which is the unique feature of the Pimax. Second one is great image clarity, which is the AKS feature. Next one is great comfort and build quality, which is much better than previous model. And next one is great optimization. Some of you may disagree with my opinion, but in my perspective, it has great software. The last one is possible to make exact right setting as your favor. It's time for cons. First one is a very expensive piece of hardware. Second one is after image is not fixed yet. Third one is a distortion is still there. Finally, need to do complex game setup. I was almost satisfied with the products. Yes, it has problems, but the combination of such huge FOB and such a clear image is just mind blowing. The critical problems such as after image will be fixed soon in my guess. If you are looking for the best, the best visual quality HMD within $2,000, sure that the Pimax AKS is a definitive top notch. However, if you are not the VR enthusiast and looking for the product with the great value for money, this is not the product for you. It's like many other high-end devices, it's too expensive that to compare with the spec. I hope this video help you for making decision of buying HMD. Thank you. Thank you very much for watching.